Shot in the face, perishing wow. under the rubble, kidnapped and orphaned, killed. Every day, Ukraine wakes up to sounds of blasts and the news of another child wounded or left dead. 11-year-old Yana was with her mother waiting for an evacuation train at Kromodorsk when a Russian missile hit the train station. The girl lost both of her legs. Four-year-old Lisa, who her mother called a sunny child, was killed by a Russian missile strike in Vinitsa. 13-year-old Dimitro went for a run with his sister in their hometown of Kharkiv. His father found his lifeless body in the street after a rocket exploded at the bus stop. And that's 11-year-old Veronica, a Russian tank shell killed all of her family when they tried to hide in the basement of their house in Vuladar. The lives ruined and cut short by the missiles that the Russian president prides himself on. The smallest victim of Russian violence, Serhi, was just two days old when the Russian army shelled the maternity ward in Vilnyansk. The war has already killed 485 Ukrainian children and left more than a thousand of them wounded, while almost 20,000 kids remain missing or forcefully deported to Russia. And this grim tally is mounting. Lisa, Dmitro, Serhi, the kids killed in Mariupol, Kramatorsk, and Vinitsa. We can't bring them back. But this grim count must stop. Я хочу, щоб всі були живі.